assessment is our ability to formalize what we do, to standardize how we approach our well-being initiatives, and to know that we are moving the mark or actually making a difference. The thing at Thunder Mist that if you can't measure it, it doesn't happen. And that has been true for wellness work for a long time. If we haven't been able to measure the need and impact of our wellness work, it doesn't happen. I think the assessment criteria is so very important because it takes a large, sometimes daunting task in trying to say, I want to improve physician well being or employee well being, and really puts it into something that's tangible and seems attainable for everybody. One of the greatest barriers to overcome in implementing a successful wellness survey is doing it in a way that reassures your clinical staff that their responses are anonymous and they can trust the system to protect them from any perceived risk for being honest. This is confidential. Give us your real answer. And particularly in our first implementation, that was really important in terms of getting buy-in and honest feedback from our providers. I think the biggest impact of the result of these assessments right now has been a lot of awareness and knowledge. We are able to make some early wins, such as a really large in-basket purge, developing a mental health clinic, and building this well-being committee that we have. We still have a long way to go in systems that we would like to improve, but right now we know the areas that we need to target because of the measures, and that's the biggest impact. In terms of distributing the data, we distribute it at all different levels because everyone in the organization needs to know how we're doing for this. Much like every level of an organization might need to understand, to some degree, budgeting or like an annual budget. Have we met it? Have we not met it? What elements haven't we met? We take the same approach to wellness. The reaction that I get is that people are so grateful that we're paying attention, so grateful that we're getting this data, and find it very interesting to hear about how they compare to their colleagues across the country, and that we're trying to make efforts in that way. So that's been really helpful to tell our frontline that we do care very much, that we're working really hard to try to fix this and doing it in an evidence-based, best practice informed manner. I think what's really great for an institution is just starting out to, of course, look at the assessment criteria first and think about what they're already doing and what they may already meet and they don't realize. So it's not just about achieving a bronze or a silver or a gold status, but at the same time, it's a really nice roadmap to help your organization, to help the people of your organization to continuously improve.